Scorpio, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for June 12th to the 18th. Scorpio, let's jump on in and see what is on the cards for you. And I have be bold and make the first move, Scorpio. So you just could be making a move towards somebody, a person of interest that you have your eye on. This could be making the first move in terms of, you know, moving towards a new beginning. Uh, it feels like there is some action to take here. And it's also like you go first first and then the universe will show the way. Often how it works is that the universe wants to see that you're invested, that you're ready, that you've got some skin in the game. Okay, Scorpio, oof, the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So yeah, be bold and make the first move towards some kind of unknown here. You know, it's interesting in this card because we see this beautiful sun energy through here we see that it's light and it's bright and there's you know something enticing here on offer but we also can't see like what's around that corner there what's around that corner meaning be bold and make the first move take a leap of faith yes you don't know how this is going to go or what's waiting for you but this is about the journey because it feels like where you have been you know, there's been some darkness, right? Or things not growing. Like it's, you know, it feels like you are needing to, this this is inevitable. Like you need to cross this passage. Like you're in transition at the moment. All right, let's go to the Tarot Scorpio. Oh, Leo energy. Le is the Leo energy coming through here? The King of Wands. So the thing about the King of Wands is that this is the energy of strength coming through. So it's about bravery to move forward. But the King of Wands is visionary and uses discretion. So it, it, you're probably feeling quite sure about what you're wanting to move towards here. Like you can feel the potential, you know, and see it and the potential for growth. Now, for some of you, uh, this might be King of Rods towards an entrepreneurial journey or leveling up in your career. Or, as I mentioned, being the one to extend the offer of passion here. If it is in love and relationships, it still is a, a general reading. But the thing is that the, the, the monkey mind stops us because all of the thoughts, the what ifs and the overwhelm creeps in. So this could be, well, what if I get rejected? What if it doesn't work out? I might be just be better off staying where I am. That is all just going to keep you so stuck. There's actually a clear path for the one that is brave enough to go through, to cross the threshold, to take that rite of passage. Um, there might be somebody or something to move away from and there could be feelings of you know, guilt here. It's asking you to follow the intuition rather than the mind in this particular case. There's a different viewpoint or perspective that you can take. And I just said that, didn't I, about the uh, following the intuition and the high priestess is showing up. Now, the thing about the high priestess is, again, it's, there's this message of, I'm not showing you what's behind the screen. She sits at the gateway and she's saying, this is your test of trusting your gut of trusting your intuition, then I reveal the knowledge, then I reveal the outcome to you. So be bold and make the first move. She is beckoning you to cross the threshold towards something that lights you up, the Nine of Wands. And it might be, you know, this kind of black cave energy that we see in Nine of Wands coming through that you've been struggling or battling in a situation for some time. And this is you crossing the threshold towards a new beginning, right? So, and it's saying that, you know, you, you still are the warrior here. You have enough energy. You have enough of that fire cardinal energy to be able to take this action. I'm feeling, you know, very Aries energy coming through or fire energy with that Leo. It's about following the call of the heart towards a major victory. The Six of Wands is always somebody who's coming out of a darker time or a struggle, but they are firing up. And because of that, they claim the victory of the Ace of Wands, okay? This is a huge win energy, but it's through the determination to succeed. The, the Six of Wands is somebody who's in their full esteem and confidence, and because of that, they are attracting opportunity. 
the Six of Wands and, and the Knight of Pentacles here are people that cross the threshold because they know that through there, that is where they can plant the seeds of the new. Now, Knight of Pentacles, yes, there might be some preparation that you're needing to put in place here, you know, or maybe you've had to wait for the right timing, but it does feel like that timing is now because with the four of cups coming through it feels like this is the way to the three of cups to your joy and if you're honest where you've been before has been an energy where there's not really been much growth all the way through just sort of feeling a bit complacent here but there is like a new move here like you're actually being offered the ace of cups but be bold and make the first move knight of swords and that is a huge energy of, of movement I've got the sun at the bottom of the deck so the knights are all about um making progress towards that goal the knight of swords in particular can be a communication a message that leads to a quantum leap forward where to over the threshold into a bright new beginning it could be towards a new partnership whether it is romantic or with an organization here um, and it feels like the sweet spot is here right now now you're being asked to uh, follow your intuition not the the stories of the mind that are causing overwhelm and painting you know worst case scenarios here this can really lead to growth this can really lead to an illuminated positive path for you. So I wish you all the best with it. Scorpio, I'm gonna leave it there. If you'd like a personal reading, please do follow the first link down below to my website where you can check those out and follow along on Instagram for daily readings. And I'm doing a free little mini personal readings over there as well, but you will need to be there and be uh, following my story uh, as well. So I am going to leave it here and wish you all the love and magic. Do take care, bye for now.